Hey, Pastor Chong! Wait for me! Goodness, Hu Chong. <sighs> Can't you slow down a little? <sighs> sorry, sorry. Uh, Pastor Zhang, I know we're going to see Brother Yang, but why are you going so fast? I can't keep up. Because I'm worried. Brother Yang has prestige from years of sermons, being jailed and That's true. suffering. But now he believes in Eastern oh. Lightning, and he's leading dozens of believers to learn about oh. it. Oh, my poor heart. Oh, yes, it's breaking. The pain. I know. If they all believe Eastern Lightning... Then whose pastor will you be? Exactly. I... What did you say? Huh? I'm trying to be a responsible pastor. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You have good intentions. Good intentions. Today, no matter what, we must bring Brother Young back. But Brother Young is headstrong. Can we get through to him? Eh, don't worry. I have ways. You have ways? Now listen. His son. Oh! <laughs> See how I react in a moment? Right, how I react. Huh? Oh, no, no, no. I mean how you react. Let's go. Yeah. Who's there? Brother Young, it's me. Pastor Zhuang. Brother Yang, oh, hello. Who? We've come to see you. <laughs> hey, hey, calm down. Okay. Oh, Pastor Zhuang, come in, come in. It's been a while. Yes. Come in, please. Thanks. I've had a lot of work at the church and not much time. I, see. <laughs> I even wake up early to write sermons. You've been busy. Have a seat. Here, sit. Writing is useless. Good sheep still ran away. Here, have some water. <laughs> Thanks. So, Brother Young, hmm? we finally have some time, so let's catch up properly. Yes, right? exactly. Brother Young, you might not know. Hearing you believe in... <laughs> <laughs> Brother Young, tell us how Tao and Min's wedding planning is coming yes, along. Uh, yes, it's almost done. <laughs> Thank the Lord. Wonderful. Yeah. And both families of belief. Perfect. Yes. Pastor Zhang has prayed quite a lot for their wedding. Ah. <laughs> it's true. You certainly worked hard on Tao's wedding. Ah. We're brothers and sisters, so we should care for each other, shouldn't we? Exactly. Here, have some water. Brother Yang, since I saw you last, I'm told you accept Eastern Lightning. Is this true? Yes, and I've been meaning to talk about it. What about the Lord? Brother Yang, I mean... <sighs> we are on the verge of the Lord rapturing us to the Kingdom of Heaven at this crucial moment. Why believe in Eastern Lightning? Yeah. Pastor Zhuang, we've condemned Eastern Lightning for many years, never actually reading Almighty God's words. Is that the Lord's will? Eastern Lightning publishes Almighty God's truth for all to see. Isn't that worth investigating? Recently, I've read much of Almighty God's word. I know Almighty God is the returned Lord Jesus. Eh, impossible. If the Lord Jesus returned, he'd still be called Lord Jesus. Right. It says in the Bible, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Amen. Brother Young, the Lord Jesus' name will never change. Yes. Pastor Zhuang. This verse of scripture is about God's essence never changing, not his name never changing. Oh? Huh. I've never heard of it being interpreted like that. That's right. I only understood this mystery after reading Almighty God's word. I'll tell you what it says. God's essence and what he has and is shall never change. As for his work, however, it is always progressing in a forward direction, always going deeper. For he is always new and never old. In every age, God assumes a new name. In every age, he does new work. And in every age, he allows his creatures to see his new will and new disposition. All right, Brother Young. 
You say God's name changes with each age with no biblical basis. Right. It's not true. You see, in the age of law, God was Jehovah. In the age of grace, he was Jesus. Hasn't God's name changed before? Pastor Jung, he's right. It changed. Be quiet. Pastor Zhuang, do you remember what it says in Revelation 3.12? Him that overcomes will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go no more out. And I will write on him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God, and I will write on him my new name. Pastor Jung, the Bible does say God's name will change. Yes, based on the Bible, God will have a new name in the last days. God's new name is Almighty God. Even if the Bible prophesies a new name, saying that it's Almighty God, is there any biblical basis? Right. Of course. Of course? Yes. In Revelation 1.8, Revelation 4.8, Revelation 11.17, and other places in the Bible, it's prophesied God's name in the last days is the Almighty. That's Almighty God. Pastor Jung, there are prophecies. And Almighty God's word is even clearer. Pastor Chuang, I'll read some of Almighty God's word. Here, let's sit down. Sit. Almighty God says, although Jehovah Jesus and the Messiah all represent God's Spirit. These names only denote the different ages in God's management plan and do not represent God in His entirety. The names by which people on earth call God cannot articulate God's entire disposition and all that He is. They are merely different names by which God is called during different ages. And so, when the final age, the age of the last days, arrives, God's name shall change again. He shall not be called Jehovah or Jesus, much less the Messiah, but shall be called the powerful Almighty God Himself. And under this name, He shall bring the entire age to an end. God's name was Jehovah in the Old Testament, Jesus in the New Testament, and the last days, Almighty God? Calm down. No matter what, as believers, we must keep the Lord Jesus' name. Otherwise, we betray the Lord. Pastor Zhuang, Almighty God is the returned Lord Jesus. He is using a different name for a different age. If the Lord returns and we don't welcome Him, that is truly betraying Him. If that's true, we're betraying the Lord, aren't we? What are you saying? Hold your position. <sighs> Brother Young, we've spent a lot of time together working to spread the gospel. I have known you for over 20 years. And even though we weren't born from the same mother, I really believe we are spiritual brothers. Yeah, that's right. When we serve the Lord together, Wonderful things happen. Pastor Zhuang, if you if could... If you stop believing in Eastern Lightning, I'll make you an elder. But... Know what? I'll even give you extra subsidies every month. What do you think? Pastor Zhuang... If there's anything else you need, you just have to ask, okay? Hey, <laughs> Brother Young, if you became an elder, wherever you go, people will make a big deal. You'll be celebrated. Mm. Everyone will be... Brother who? How can you say such words? Huh? Do we believe in the Lord just to become elders? But Do we work for the Lord just so we can demand status in the church? In your eyes, it seems wealth and status are more important than God's salvation in the last what? days. Yeah. Why can't you understand my good intentions? I'm just trying to help you. <sighs> if you want to help me, you shouldn't try to stop me from investigating the true way. <sighs> Brother Yang, Pastor Zhang and I are afraid that you've been deceived. Let's sit down and talk peacefully.
I'll refill the water. Sounds good. It looks to me like he is absolutely determined to believe in Almighty God. Hmm. We'll see. If he doesn't want the money, I bet he'll at least consider his son. Hey, hey Tao! Tao is back! You're back! Pastor Jung, Brother Hu? Tao, why are you back? Dad, we need to talk. Oh, I'll take Have it. Have some water. Okay, you go ahead. Okay. Tao, what's the matter? Dad, Pastor Zhong told me that you believe in Eastern Lightning. Pastor Zhuang? <clears throat> Tao, listen to me. Eastern Lightning is the appearance and work of the Lord. Dad, Pastor Zhong said anyone who believes in Eastern Lightning will be expelled from the church. My son, it doesn't matter if they expel me. The Lord has returned. If we don't welcome him, he will reject us and we will forever lose our chance to be lifted into the kingdom of heaven. But... Mian's family has found out you accepted Eastern Lightning. They're... canceling the marriage. Canceling? Yes, Brother Young. It's important to think about your son. <laughs> That's right. Min is a wonderful girl. She is. Dad, you need to stop believing in Almighty God, all right? Tao. Don't worry. In a few days, I'll go talk to them. Once they know Almighty God is the returned Lord Jesus, they will understand. So you... Dad, I... It's Mian. Get it. Hello, Mian? What? Excuse me? Let me explain Mian. Mian! Mian! Mi... What does she say? She said, if I want to marry her, I have to break with you. Break with me? That's... Dad, what can I... Brother Young, your wife is no longer with us, and he's your only son. You need to do your best to look out for him, right? God, what should I do? I beg your guidance. He that loves son or daughter more than me is not worthy of me. You must suffer hardship for the truth. You must give yourself to the truth. You must endure humiliation for the truth. And to gain more of the truth, you must undergo more suffering. You should pursue all that is beautiful and good, and should pursue a path in life that is more meaningful. So Tao, you're an adult now, and it's time you had your own life. I don't need you to take care of me. I'll be fine as long as you're happy. Dad, don't say that. I've spent my life believing in God and waiting for the Lord to come. I've been waiting for this for decades. And now the Lord has finally come. I ask for nothing but to be face to face with God. I just want to read God's word and follow God. My son, I hope you can understand. Dad, I understand. If you believe in Almighty God, I won't stop you. I'll go talk to Mian. Do your best to convince her. Okay. Tao? 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 Hey! Tao, wait! Don't go! Young Shang Ming, you... 
You're so heartless. You don't even care about your son's marriage. <sighs> Pastor Jong asked Tao to come back to talk to you and give Min an idea to help. And now it's... Be quiet. You gave Can't Min you an idea to right? help? Pastor Zhuang, you... You actually used my son's wedding to threaten me? Brother Young, Pastor Zhang only did this to help you and make you change your mind. He had good intentions. You have to believe me. Good intentions? I can't believe this. How could you use such a cruel way to try to get me to abandon the true way? I can't. Brother Yang, you can't misunderstand Pastor Zhang's good intentions. Please! Yang Changming, I'm warning you. I built this church completely on my own. I won't allow you to take any more sheep from my flock. Otherwise, huh, you can't blame me for being harsh with you. Pastor Zhuang, how can you say you built this church by yourself? How could you build any church by yourself? Go ask our brothers and sisters who this church belongs to. Christ is the one who leads our church. You're only a pastor. How could you lead the church? God has returned, but you try to keep God's sheep under your control. They're not even allowed to investigate the true way. Aren't you robbing them? What? You need to take some time to reflect on what you've been doing. I... I should reflect? Huh? I am defending the Lord's way and guarding the flock. Yeah! But you're saying that I'm... I'm a robber? How could you? I think you're judging me. <sighs> Brother Yang, how can you judge your pastor? Remember, pastors represent the Lord. You... If you make them believe in Almighty God, who will listen to Pastor Zhang? Who will listen to his sermons? Oh... I never should have brought you. Now I understand. You are preventing people from investigating the true way in the name of defending the Lord's way. Do you think you're any different than the Pharisees back then? The Lord Jesus cursed the Pharisees. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For you neither go in yourselves, neither suffer you them that are entering to go in. You're keeping people from the kingdom of heaven to protect your status and income. Don't you fear God will curse you? Ha! <sighs> How dare you call me a Pharisee? You've gone too far! <laughs> it's true that you're a Pharisee, and you know it! You pastors and elders stunt our spiritual growth. Our brothers and sisters still haven't been able to welcome the Lord. Almighty God says, Those who read the Bible in grand churches recite the Bible every day, yet not one understands the purpose of God's work. Though they brandish the name of God, they willfully oppose Him. Though they label themselves believers of God, they are the ones who eat the flesh and drink the blood of man. All such men are devils who devour the soul of man, demons who purposely disturb those who try to step onto the right path, and stumbling blocks that impede the path of those who seek God. Our brothers and sisters are all in the dark with no light ahead. They all yearn for the Lord's return. But you, you manipulate them and keep them firmly under your thumb. You. You would rather leave them parched and starving than let them investigate the true way. Now I finally understand. You pastors and elders are nothing but antichrists who keep people from turning to God. How dare! You're beyond help! You've officially lost it! Fine. Today I announce your expulsion from the church. It's better for everyone if you stay away. You're expelling me? Think of the state of the church today. To me, it looks like a Laodicean church, a church ruled by antichrists. The Holy Spirit eliminated those churches long ago. They've already become religious Babylons. I've heard the voice of God and am dining at the Lamb's wedding feast. Even if you didn't expel me, I would escape from this religious Babylon. <sighs> Is our church really a religious Babylon? It's all going to collapse? Don't listen to him. The Lord Jesus said, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you compass sea and land to make one proselyte, and when he is made, you make him twofold more the child of hell than yourselves. Today, I finally understand the true meaning of the Lord Jesus' words. You don't work and spread the gospel to bring people before God. You're making them follow in resisting God and becoming sons of hell. 
You pastors are the chief culprits, and I'm sure you're already cursed by God. You... You can't speak... How dare you speak to Pastor Zhang like that? Young Zhang Meng, you need to listen to me. If you dare take sheep from our church again, we'll call the police and we'll... report you! Report me? Today I got to see the true face of your hypocrisy. You are more than antichrists. You are Judases. No, 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 no. Pastor Zhang, he actually called us Judases. You, you, you are right. Hu Shuang, how could you call the police on Brother Young? How? Then we would be Judases. But isn't that what you told me before? Hu Shuang, as a pastor, how could I sell out my brothers and sisters? It would be selling out my Lord and my friends. What should we do? Are you stupid? Huh? If we call the police, we should do it in secret. Oh, yeah. Listen, the CCP police are devils, and they're capable of anything. Hmm, that's right. That's why giving these believers an almighty God to them is just perfect. Oh, right, right. We've been talking, and since we're at a turning point, from now on, you go your way. And I'll go mine. But I want you to remember that if I catch you taking any more sheep from my church, I won't be kind. Got it? Let's go! Hm. You completely misunderstood the pastor's good intentions. He was just trying to help. Hm. Good intentions? Those were the pastor's good intentions? <laughs>